Hey again, YouTube. Nut job with a machete back with a review of a machete. Uh, this is the Cold Steel Chinese War Sword Machete. Uh, this is a gift for a friend of mine. Happy birthday. Um, but he's let me do a review on it before he actually takes final possession of it. So let's get right down to it so he can start playing around with it. Um, this thing is a beast. Uh, it's based, I think, on the Chinese the Bao, um, which is like a two-handed infantry, almost saber. Um, you can almost see this style blade on their Pu Dao, um, a pole arm with <laughs> this stuck on the end. I'll admit, when I first saw this, I was thinking of doing that by buying one of these, fixing the handle and sticking it on a pole arm, but it's a little bulky for that. Uh, it's made of your standard, I think it's 1055 high carbon steel. Um, it is a beast size wise, two handed with a pommel ring at the bottom. You can swing it from the pommel ring. It does swing freely. There's actually no burrs on the inside of the pommel ring, but there was a slight burr on the outside that I've taken off. Uh, it's, for its size, it's still quite an agile little cutter, big cutter. Uh, it'll do pretty much whatever you want it to. Uh, slightly too big for any sort of practical machete use unless you're trying to take down something fairly big. Um, the blade's actually, it's, this thing is bigger than two feet. I think it's 24 inches from point to just above what they've put in as essentially pommel guards. It's quillions. Um, but one thing I don't like about it is I actually don't like the handle. You'll see that the handle, the design of the handle is actually very similar to the Shanghai Shadow um, with this style grip, which works on the shadow because it's much smaller and your fingers naturally fit there. But I find that uh, when I'm holding this thing, because of the size of my hands, my fingers don't naturally sit in that groove. If I try to hold it that way, it's very awkward. Um, that all said, I've got some cut tests that I will show you and then I'll show you the sheath. Um, but you can see, even with it feeling kind of awkward in my hand, the cut test will show you that this thing's still pretty damn agile and really sharp. So let's go to the cut test and we'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see from the cut test, this thing, uh, getting the edge alignment just right is pretty easy because it's a rectangular shape, not round. Uh, I think I might prefer an oval handle just to make it slightly more comfortable for me, but it's not bad. The sheath is kind of similar to what they did for the tie machete um, that you guys might have seen my earlier review of. Uh, in that they give you a strap on the back so you can do a baldric style hang. Now the sheath itself actually has three snap points. One up on the handle and then two on the blade. Now one of the things that they did that I really do like, the sheath is really designed for the blade to go straight in and come straight out. With even just one of those snaps in place, it'll hold it in because unlike most of their other machete sheaths, um, they actually rounded this over and it holds the tip in place. So it doesn't want to fall straight out. Even putting in the closer one, there is a little bit of movement on the handle, but as you can see it, one snap will hold it in. With all three snaps on, it's held very securely in place. Getting the last snap on is because of the uh, handle design slightly awkward. Standard Cordura sheath. Uh, it's actually fairly robust. Of course, with it being a baldric um, hang, they're not going to give you a belt loop. Plus, with it on your belt, it's hanging down to my ankles. Uh, from here to here, it's like 36 inches long. So, that's like my inseam. But yeah. Um, 
out from the factory, one thing to look for, I think this might have been a first production run issue. I've noticed a couple of the newer products that their first production runs are a little, they're good, they're just not perfect. Um, there's a burr running along the blade, so I just took a couple of swipes with a diamond sharpener and uh, cleaned it up. <laughs> oh yeah, I sharpened that up a little bit. But yeah, it's uh, fairly sharp. It'll definitely do yard work, though. <laughs> I'm not entirely certain uh, what kind of weeds you gotta hack through, but this will definitely go through them all. But yeah, um, my buddy's already got a name for it, but I can't pronounce it. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say it in English because it sounds dorky in English. Sorry, dude. Uh, sounds a lot better in Chinese. But yeah, the Cold Steel Chinese War Sword Machete, like I said, two hander. Um, not the most agile thing, not like the Thai machete, but it's a good chopper, and it is a chopper. Uh, all the weight is forward because of the, uh, like I said, the Dao design. All the weight's up here. Um, you probably could put a lanyard if you wanted to on this from the palmer ring, but I think that would look kind of weird. And I found it a little interesting that they did this hole here uh, on some of or on all of their machetes, very similar to some of the Thaos. Um, I don't know, would a ring be like a Kung Fu star? Something like that. Uh, all told, I mean, this thing was, I think it was about 50 bucks Canadian um, through my supplier, and my buddy's already had it for a little while and then gave it back to me so I could do a review. He absolutely loves it. So, I mean, if you were looking for something like this and you're looking for comfort, Plus, I'd say a little less utility, but, you know, uh, definitely cheap, inexpensive, let's say, then this would probably be a good choice for you. Um, I give it a thumbs up. If this were mine, I probably would be taking off this handle and putting on something I like a little bit better, maybe making a wood handle or something like that. But all told, I mean, this is actually a really, really good machete. So there you have it. Cold Steel Chinese War Sword Machete. If you pick one up, you will probably not be disappointed. As always, guys, if you like videos like this, please click like. Feel free to subscribe for more videos in the future, and please feel free to share this video as much as you want. Until next time, guys, I'm Nut Job with Machete. Stay sharp. I just cut my hair off for. That's Nut Job with the Machete's mom.